Hey guys, just doing a video um, measuring the efficiency of this ZVS system I've built. Um, the output of the ZVS goes to a full bridge rectifier and then it goes across this 120 vo 125 volt 20 watt bulb. Um, no, 25 watt bulb. It's a 120 volt 25 uh, watt light bulb. And so when I have it dialed up to 120, vo 120 volts here, we know uh, there's 25 watts of energy uh, in going through that bulb. Um, so yeah, and I'm going to compare that to the input. Uh, the input is measured. Um, that's the voltage, and then we add up the current because this is in parallel. Okay, so all right. So I got 129. Let's dial her down. There, a little bit less. All right, all right, we'll call that 120. So there's 25 watts going through that light bulb. And we got 8.8 .8 volts, and we'll say at um, two, we'll say three plus 3.26. So 6.26 amps, 8.8 um, .8 at 6.26 amps. Uh, we can figure out the efficiency using these numbers. Um, okay, so that's what we'll do. Okay, now using the exact same methodology as before, we're going to measure across a 1,030 ohm resistor that has a little smoothing cap in there. Um, and yeah, we're going to look at the voltage right after it's connected. Um, because you need to take your reading right off the bat because it heats up. Um, and then when it heats up, the resistance goes up, and then you get your readings are, are, are garbage. So, <clears throat> all right. So let me plug this guy in. Nope, didn't work. Didn't insta All right, so we got 219. 219, uh, 218 volts. Well, it was 219 at the start, so we're going to go with 219. And then we got 10 volts at 10 volts at 3.54, 3.88. All right. Okay, now this time we have a 60 watt, 130 volt bulb um, on the output side with the smoothing cap attached. I'm going to do the same process. All right, so we're at 130 volts, and here's our numbers: 20.5 volts at those two currents 2.75 and 3.02 added up um, and now we'll crunch those numbers okay so for setup one we got 45 percent efficiency with that little bulb pretty crappy with the big resistor the dummy load resistor um, at 130 ohms um, we had about 62 percent efficient so a big jump from 45 and then with the last one, we met them in the middle with 50% efficient. All around, it's kind of like, um, I don't like that. Like, I would, when designing this, I was hoping that the efficiency would be like at least 70, above 80, ideally. Um, I, that's what I'm just hoping. Like, I, I was hoping to be able to put, you know, a couple hundred watts and have about 80% of that at least uh, go to the output to where I want it. And like I've tried many different capacitor combinations, um, L seeing it in the front, uh, just a whole bunch of different stuff. And uh, yeah, I just don't know where the loss is coming in. A guy, Mongrel Shark, he suggested I try Litzwa uh, Litzwire as the primary. And I actually have some rolled up from uh, other projects I have. So I'm going to try that for sure. Um, I'm going to re rewind the primary side more windings and using Litzwire because it passes AC better 
and see if that affects the uh, efficiency at all. And maybe I'll take some windings off, off the front end a bit. Um, I don't know, if anybody has any suggestions or um, experience building these systems and you know how to make them uh, high efficient, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, so yeah guys, that's it. Thanks for watching and yeah, peace out guys. Later. And of course we gotta do one of these. Peace guys.